Hi everybody, how are you? So today we are here to record the last video of our course that is compile the project for Android, okay? And to compile the project for Android, Quasar uses Cordova. Cordova is a framework that lets us compile web code into Android, iOS, and even Linux and I think Windows code. Windows applications. So to do to be able to compile for Android, we need to do some things. Um, the first thing we need to install Cordova. To install Cordova, you can check here in their page, in the home page. What you need to do is to npm install minus g Cordova. Okay, to install Cordova globally. <clears throat> and after that you are also going to need to install the Android SDK. To install Android SDK it's a very complex uh, process. I'm not going to teach you how to do it here. You can check some web tutorials, there are some YouTube videos that show you how to do it because it is very complex to do. But it's worth to. I think it's worth to because you can build your apps for Android. And let's go. Um, okay, so to start, what you need to do is let me clear the, the terminal. The first thing we need to do is to add Cordova to the Quasar application. To do that, we need to Quasar uh, mode add Cordova. Okay, this is going to add the Cordova to our application. So the first thing I need to inform is to inform my application ID that is something used by example in Android. Every Android application has a unique ID. So my ID is going to be we uh, con.webra developer dot notes. Okay. Now it is going to add uh, 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 no Cordova has been added. Okay, let me check. Okay, a fold a new folder has been added. The same thing we have for Electron, the SRC Electron, SRC PWA. Now we have SRC Cordova. That is the project, the Cordova projects. So if we need to do things specifically for Cordova, we need to do these things on the SRC Cordova folder. Okay? So now let's enter on this folder as CD SRC Cordova and now we are going to add Android as an uh, plat available platform. To do this we need to run the Cordova Cordova platform add Android. Let press let's press enter and that is also another command that is going to tell you if you have the requirements to build applications for the platforms you have added to your Cordova project. Okay, let's wait. It is installed on some things. Okay, now we can type the Cordova requirements. This is going to tell you if you have the requirements to build application for the added platforms. Now we have added Android for Cordova and how you can see I have here the output that is Java GDK it is installed, the Android SDK is installed, the Android target it is installed, the Android target 30 and the 29 and I have also installed Glade Grade, Gado, Grado, I think, <laughs> Grado. Okay, so these are the things that I need to compile my project for Android. Okay, so now let me check here. Okay, so this generated the SRC Cordova folder, and here I have something very special that is the config uh, XML. This file has the config, this is the configuration file for Cordova. Here, by example, I have my application ID, I have my version, I have the app name, 
I have the description, I have the author. I'm not going to change these things, but you can change it later. Okay. And now this file should also contain the application icon. The application icon is not here, so let's add it. To add it, let's go back to the Quasar project and run icon gen generate minus i icon dot png. That is the same thing we did for generate icon for other applications. Now we are going to use it for Cordova. Okay, let's press enter. This is going to generate all the icons that I need and add the icons here to me in this config file. Okay. And there are other thing also that we are going to need to do is here in the folder SRC Cordova, we have a folder called platforms. We have the Android folder. We are already inside it because the only one folder that we have here, we have the app folder, the SRC, the has folder. And here we have the folder values inside the folder values. We have uh, an XML with my app name. So what I'm going to do here is to generate two new folders, one called values uh, PT and values ES. Okay. Why I'm doing this? I'm doing this. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me new folder. Okay values yes this is because um, I need to translate the app name okay so to do this I need to create folders for new for the language that I have configured for my application in this case my application is going to support Spanish and Portuguese okay so to translate the application name what I need to do is to copy the content of the default strings uh, XML file and create a new file for Spanish. So strings dot XML. I paste it here. So now the name is going to be notas. And for PT, I'm going to create also a new file. It's going to call string dot XML. And I'm going to paste here and it's also notas. Okay, because the same names in Portuguese and um, Spanish. Okay, so let's go back here and now let's go che check the what the icon gene returned to us. It generates a lot of icons and if I now I come to the config XML, I can see that a lot of new files have a lot of new tags have been added to the config file. How you can see here, I have the the icons for Android and the icons for iOS. iOS is not added to my application, but I don't know it added also the icons for it. Okay, and here I have the session with some icons and also a session with splash screens. What is splash screens? Splash screens is when you open an app and while the, the app is loading it shows to you an image so let me try to check and uh, these files if I can I, if can I show you uh, let me check where these files are they are inside res resource Android I ah, know screen Android and here have splash screen. So uh -uh. let me check an image. So this is the image that is going to be shown when the person entered the app and the app is loading. Okay. So now I can finally compile my app for Android. Okay. To do this, I'm going to run Quasar build minus M and Android. Okay. Let's press enter. I'm going to pause because this is going to take a while. So how you can see here, it has compiled the, the file, now the project, and it returned to us that the compiled file is in that directory. Okay, 
So if I come here to nodes, inside SRC, platforms, Android, app, build, outputs, APK, release, I have the app release unsigned. So it is unsigned and to be able to install in our phones and also to be able to to upload it to the Google Play Store, we need to sign this file. Okay, so what I have here, I have my one key. I'm not going to show you how to create a key for sign APKs, APKs. You can check in the web how to do it. And now I'm going to show you how to sign the, the file, okay? To do this, I'm going to use the jar signer and I need to pass the key location, the key that I want to use and also the, um, the file directory, okay? So let me press enter. This is going to ask me the password for the key. The file now is signed and now I need to compress my file. And to compress my file, I'm going to, I'm going to use the zip align and I'm going to pass the current file directory and the final uh, the final uh, file that I'm going to generate, okay? So let's press enter. So the file is now successfully uh, compressed and now I can install it on my phone and also I can install it, I can send it to the Google Play Store, okay? And I'm going to upload this file to the GitHub repository and I'm going to put the commands to sign it and to compress it in the description because these commands are larger and complex. And it's just this, the curse is end. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment and bye bye.